So this is the first tower. I'm having to hold the camera. Please bear with me, it might be a bit shaky, I'm sorry. So there's my L that I told you Carly had made me. And this is the first tower. Now the first one has all my Barry M lip kits in. Then we have my Barry M lipsticks. Some more of the matte me up. Um, are these the matte ones? Yeah, the matte liquid lipsticks by Barry M. And then we have Barry M lip glosses and Barry M lip liners. The last drawer in that first tower actually holds my e.l.f. lipsticks. We also have some crayons, um, a liquid lipstick and a lip kit from someone, I can't remember who that was. Now we are in my Primark lipsticks. These are the bullet ones, some old ones back there. Then we have like my Disney ones at the back, like Cinderella, Snow White, Lion King, Mary Poppins, Alice in Wonderland. We have some of the matte bullets this time. These are majority of the newer packaging, so the luster and the matte ones. These are some of the limited editions, so we got Floral Days, the Summer Collection. Then we got some of the old packaging right here. These are just ones that I haven't reached for in a little while, but they are some really nice colours. These are quite nice because they're like glosses, and then some of these I think are liquid lipsticks as well. Then we've got last year's Christmas collection of lipsticks at the back. They're meant to be a dupe for something, but I really can't remember what. Then we have my Jenna Fumes collection. I really love this collection. And it will be its own drawer. And then we have some of the old like lip kits. So some of these actually came in with like a lip liner as well. This was on sale. These, these are some glosses. I hate when this happens. Again, some more old liquid lipsticks and glosses in this drawer. Then we have some of my favourite crayons and some liquid lipsticks. I don't really use the liquid lipsticks anymore. It might come to a point that I actually throw them away. We've got their liquid lipsticks, which I really, really love. I haven't used these in a little while, and they used to come in like the sets of four, and I haven't had. I've just threw the packaging away. Then we've got all their lip liners that I own. I love their lip liners. They are really, really nice and creamy, especially some of the older packaging ones. So like in the black, not these ones, the older ones, but they are nice too, but the old ones are much better. These are just some stuff that I've bought recently. So from the new gifts, what is it? From the new collection and then these are the clueless lipsticks some satin luxe ones i've got some in my everyday drawers i'm actually going to go and show you my everyday drawers next as well and lastly some liquid lipsticks um that came as lip kits that i haven't used in a very long time so it was very hard to like hold the camera while showing you for the first tower so for the second one this is as high as my camera will go so i've brought the top lipstick tower that was right up here down just to show you I'm on a stool as well so yes this is my NYX tower as you can see I have all my NYX soft matte lip creams and glosses in here I can show you a few favorites so like Amsterdam is a really nice like orangey red it's not too dark but then I love this dark gloss this is in the shade devil's food cake uh, some of the London, I was looking for London for the longest time, that is a really nice one. I used to really like Abu Dhabi um, and Cairo as a little um, highlight in the middle of your lips. The glosses are so nice but my favourite gloss has to be Tiramisu. So yeah, that is the first drawer. The second drawer houses my bullet lipsticks and some of my liquid lipsticks. So the liquid suede are an all-time favourite. This is Cherry Skies and this colour is so good. This one didn't fit in the drawer before. This is a new one. This is Zurich. Uh, we've got some more liquid suede. We've got some of the butter lipsticks. I used to be so jealous of American YouTubes when YouTubers when they had those, but now... I love my NYX suede lipsticks, these are really nice, I think there's a shade, Lolita, this is such a nice shade, it actually sold out in my local boots and I missed it when it first launched, and we've got some of the old matte lipsticks which I don't really use. In this drawer we have some of the powder puffs, the filler instincts and the lingerie liquid lipsticks. 
um, and two of the full throttle lipsticks which I haven't used in a very long time mostly nudes I've got some reds here from the powder puff these are really nice I bought them at IMAX last year I even got my mum one these are lovely toppers and I feel like these are what started the topper trend last year that has kind of come into this year and they're also like got that plumping sensation then we've got some of the NYX shout loud lipsticks I want to call these I have tons of these these are really nice this is is cherry charm it's a nice like raspberry shade uh, then I have two more of the NYX lingeries but these are the glosses this one is my favorite this is in the shade Euro trash of course oh, these I bought these because of Chris cam I will link her down below if I remember to what I'll do is while I'm editing put a few notes of what I need to link uh, she really loves these and she did a whole video on them and made me want to buy the whole collection then we've got my lip liners you know what I am I'm a lip liner fiend but I might actually start putting my lip liners into pots of like nudes pinks bright pinks reds raspberry reds I feel like I'll have enough for each pot especially that I just bought my lippy sticks um, from Colourpop I'm gonna start with this tower here we've got some Maybelline lip liners crayon um, love these crayon sticks I haven't used them in a very long time and then this I got from a lovely colleague at work who remembers these NYX baby lips I still have mine they're nice but they're not the best then some lip liners some liquid lipsticks um, a lip gloss Carmex and a lip balm then we have two MAC drawers I don't really buy from MAC anymore I must admit but these are some of my lipsticks I really like the second drawer because we've got the Patricia Bright and the Jamie Genevieve one and we've also got Brave this one Brave was that iconic Kylie Jenner shade as you can see I used it a lot oh, it's very matte but very me then we've got my MAC lip liners and my favorite has to be Saw I it's still not it, it's not the best in the world like there is other shades better out there but saw is a really good favorite of mine like the MUA £1.50 liners are so much better I actually have a little like lip coat which I don't like okay revolution let's start off with the rose gold ones then we have my sofa lipsticks then we have the life on the dance floor lipsticks down here let me show you some of my favorites I feel like head turner which they've actually reformulated this one as you can see I used that quite a lot at one stage and it's so creamy I think it was this one Funk U which is in the black silvery package packaging which is like a dark red that is my kind of red I need to use that then we've got some of the Revolution Pro, either the Diamond Luster, the New Neutral, or these are the, the ones out of the boxes are the very old packaging. Show you a few favourites. It's a really nice shade. Right there. We've got some collaborations. So we've got Tammy, Petra, Roxy, and Nath, who I think is Natalia. Some more bullet lipsticks. I love these little rose gold ones. I think these were the Renaissance lipsticks. Then we have the powder matte ones and just the matte bullet lipsticks. And here we just have some random makeup obsession, tasty peach one, cherry one, a lip topper, creams. Nothing that I reach for on the daily. We've got the Nightmare Before Christmas, an extra soap one. Um, some of these from a Christmas set and then these poor poor lip balms that for some reason have ended up there Got some heartbreaker glosses the princesses glosses a makeup obsession gloss and then there's a high eye heart revolution cherry one from the cherry gift set uh, this was the my sign collection just lip glosses more of the black bullets um, I like these ones there's a couple of shades that are really nice I think it's this one venture this is a really nice brown shade very matte right there domineer this is a nice pink shade very creamy that shade whereas the last one was very matte now we're on the last box from this side we have just some revolution pro I don't really get round to using them some of them are the old makeup revolution bullets uh, I just keep them 
some of them came in them five pound sets i ended up getting one for free once so that's why some of them are still sealed and that wasn't in shot too much but yeah we've got some of the lip kits right here um some of the more metallic ones we've got noble this red one which is vampire night i think that was from a halloween lip kit some more i heart revolution glosses these lip lacquers i got rid of one because it was very bunched together more glosses i keep getting them in the christmas sets but they are really nice i just can't bother to get rid of them and then their lip liners they're not my favorite lip liners i must admit um <laughs> i feel like mua Beauty Bay now are really coming in. I'm just not blown away by their lip liners. Glory is a really nice colour, but it's just not a great formula. Then up here we've got Maybelline lipsticks. So they're all different collections. This is probably the only tray that's not filled. Right here, these are the new Made For You lipsticks, and these are all old. Gigi Hadid, I love these. I missed one colour. I'm so sad, but it's just one colour, isn't it? And then the last tray of bullet lipsticks. These formulas, creamy matte formulas, are really nice. I would highly recommend them. Then we've got their liquid lipsticks. I really love these. These are really nice. I bought a few of these colours because, again, of Chris Cam. Um, I'll have to link her YouTube. These satin um, Superstay crayons are really nice. These are nice. They're all just really nice liquid lipsticks. And we have some of the old lipstick glosses. I love these. This was my favourite colour, which was... Caramel Infused. Is that what it's called? 725 Caramel Infused. Some of their Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are nice. This was my favourite shade because of Brave, which was Nude Flush. Into L'Oreal. L'Oreal is one of my faves. You've got all the gold lipsticks here. Some of the nudes. I think these are the new ones, so no hesitation. Some of their like pink range, nude range by all the different celebrities. Then we have more. These are the old balms. These are the old creams. These were new. I love these this year. And then they came them out in glosses. These are the, from their liquid lip kits that I haven't had in a very long time. Then I've actually done a whole video on these. I really like these crayons. They've got some new balms that came out this year. Obviously my Milani lip kits. And if you see, if you put them together, they actually one picture and then a Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Precious. Then we've got some more L'Oreal. I think this should be the last of the L'Oreal. This is a L'Oreal lip palette that my mum got me I think. These are their old liquid lipsticks. These are the balms. I just can't get rid of things. I just don't declutter. Some Poundland stuff. So we've got some Poundland lipsticks, liquid lipstick balms, lip liners, liquid lipstick lip kits. Um, I just thought I'd try it in a video for a Poundland testing video. I just never got around to it. My Rimmels, my babies. I absolutely love these lipsticks. And one of these is the one that I keep going on about from... Oh, it's 107 from Zoella. I loved this lipstick at one stage. I have a few now that look like that. And these were the one lipsticks. I really like these. These, I think this was my favourite shade. This one, one right here, 800. Under my spell, this was, oh yeah, you can see I've used that a lot. It's like a rounded one. I don't like that they're round. I don't know if they still sell these, but these are really nice. Then we've got liquid lipsticks here, and some of these are glosses. These were the new ones. These were the Stay Satin ones. These are really nice, but have a soft spot in my heart for these then we have the Rimmel lip liners here the balms remember these royal glosses from back in the day i can't get rid of them lottie london we've got lip liners we've got liquid lipsticks we've got glitter switches we've got hollow toppers we've got the Glossip Girl ones, these, oh, I love Lottie London. Some MUA there, some of their uh, lip lacquers and their stylos. I love their stylos. A couple of lip liners in the corner over here, but they do have better lip liners right there. These are the MUA Luxe lipsticks. I'll show you a few of my fave. I think it was number eight. Yes, this was a fave. This one to put in the center of lipsticks is a nice one. You see it? Right there. Session. There it is. Only one upside down because I use this one quite a lot. It's just so creamy. This is like a glory kind of shade. Some more MUA. These are the velvet lipsticks. These are really nice. There's a couple of nice shades that I like. 
hotline. I've got two of those. How did I end up with two? Always the way, isn't it? Hotline's such a nice one. I have used this one. Again, for like the centre of your lips. Then we've got some of these lip jellos. I used to absolutely love these lip jellos. Uh, then we've moved on to some collection. Oh yeah, so this is a collection. Um, so some collection lip bullets. I love these. These toppers. This one is a very pumpkin type of topper because it's more of like the orangey kind of colour. Right there. Really hoping I'm in focus for all of this. And then my last little collection. Um, collection. So the lip liners. Some of their new. What were these again? These were quite nice. Stay the night lip tattoos. Got some crayons. Some these are really nice. I love these. This shade's really good. This is number ten. Hot cakes. Nice creamy formula. Then I just have a few favourite perfumes. So Versace one. Black. Opium is back here and another Versace one. These are really nice. We can get on to my favourite lipsticks from collection. This is another thing that Carly had made. Um, and I can link her Instagram where she makes them. So these are three butterfly lipsticks from their collection um, at Christmas. This is all mainly Revolution. These are two lip toppers. These are actually up here because they don't fit in the, the trays. Then we have all my friends stuff here. Uh, we have the lip glosses. I have two Rachel ones and we have the lipsticks. My favourite. These, all their glosses and stuff that come here. They've got um, the matte bombs coming soon. But these are the pout bombs and the shimmer bombs. I love these. My favourite shade has got to be like this more peachier shade here and this one here. The Hydra Bomb. These are gorgeous. This shade here, which is called Hydrate such a nice one um, and then we have the revolution pro liquid lipsticks and glosses my favorite drawers has to be the xx revolution drawer because we've got some satin glosses we've got some toppers and then we have the matte ones here and i love all their formulas and the last drawer has three of my soap lipsticks and their crayons which i actually did a full video on love all the lip products in this drawer that's it for this section we will move on to the last lipstick tower and then we're done Okay guys, we are on the last tower of lipsticks. As you can see, there's four different Muji towers right there and we're just going to get stuck in. So let me climb behind. Starting with the top drawer, we have all my W7 and Lime Crime. So I have two Lime Crime lipsticks, a load of their, what you call these, like liquid lipsticks. I think they're called velvet something. Uh, some W7 lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, um, a gloss and some lip liners. Now we move to my sleek drawer and I have two of the old like sleek lipsticks from back in the day. Some of their new say it loud sleek lipsticks which are more of the latest ones. Their lip liners and their matte me ups and I've just seen someone wear shabby chic. I haven't worn it in ages so I need to pull that one out. And in here we've got a bit more sleek crayons the lip doses but then we move on to my peaches and creams because we've got the liners i bought all their liners and i bought like five glosses because i think you can get them in a set for a certain amount of money so i've got like rusted 1999 uh what have i got down here cherry brandy melrose and bambi i love their glosses they are so nice then we've got some max factor ugh, max factor lipsticks some of their glosses i think this was like a lip kit uh, lip kit uh clinique pops so i think the two minis were like free for something and there's a max factor lip liner but i do love clinique lipsticks throwback or what we've got nyc guys can you believe it? Tanya Burr. I've got YSL. I've got more Tanya Burr. This is crazy, this drawer. I'm telling you. Then we've got Kiko. I love a bit of Kiko. We've got glosses. We've got lipsticks. We've got these minis from a Christmas set. We've got a pencil gloss. Then we've got my Charlotte Tilbury lip kit that I recently got in a sale. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury was all just pillow talk. Then we've got some Body Shop that I got last Boxing Day on offer. We got some Wet n Wild. We got Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, my favourite used to be, was it 99? No, Berry Smoothie. As you can see, it was well loved. Oh, doesn't smooth that great. 
uh, swatch that great, but it was a really nice shade. Here. Now these aren't my favourite. These are the little mixes, glosses and top coats and stuff. I've got them, but they were not that great. I've got a flower power, uh, what are these called? Liquid lipsticks, a unique one. I've got a benefit. This benefit one is really nice. I used to wear it all the time. I've got another mixture, some Profusion, Smashbox and Technic over here. Another mixture, we've got some Colourpop, we've got Too Faced, Fenty, Jennifer Lopez with Inglot, we've got Essence, we've got Urban Decay, it's a very mixture of lipsticks. I love this one. We've got my Gosh and my Anastasia. I love them. I just love them all. Gosh was such a lovely like lipstick brand that I used to buy from. What one was my favourite? Spice. You know what kind of shades I like. This one used to be really like, it definitely is a matte formula. Now we go into my Bourjois and my Beauty Bay. I won't go too much into Beauty Bay because I did a whole video on that and I love them. My Bourjois, they're like my babies. This shade here, number 12, oh, is amazing. Oh, so creamy too. I just nearly broke the lipstick, how creamy that was. And then if you want a perfect pink, oh free. This one is so nice too. All oh, my Kylie's, I haven't had these out in a long time. Um, I've got liquid lipsticks and I think the next drawer has glosses and like Christmas stuff but I used to love these. I'm sure they've probably gone off by now. No, oh, they smell okay. Oh, this colour. I think this is ginger. Nope, it's pumpkin. Oh, I love that shade. I must admit there are better liquid lipsticks out there. More Kylie, as you can see, I used to be obsessed. There's the Coco range as well. I got some of the minis. I think I got the Coco minis and one of Kylie's Christmas minis, but oh, they're so good. Then obviously because I bought the lip kits, there's so many liners, but the glosses, oh my God, the glosses are insane. Look at that. Then we've got a bit of Revlon. I do love my Revlon. I've got the old, who remembers these butters? What ones? I think it was this one. Nope. Is it this one? Yep, very smoothie. You know what kind of shades I like. That's not a great colour anymore, but it's that one there. Look at Revlon's liquid matte colours. I love these. And then... They even brought out the vinyl glosses. This shade here in the shade Date Night. Oh, this is, I should wear this more often, but it's like a proper cool toned pink. More Revlon here. We've got some glosses, really old formulas, new formulas, new formulas. These down here, these are new. I should actually use these. I haven't used these yet. This is like the blotted lip color. This one's in the shade Berry Soft. Very cute. Very soft as well. Then we've got my Soap and Glory, some natural collection and a few Revlon glosses that didn't fit at the top. Love these Soap and Glory lipsticks. These were the first things I hauled on my channel. This shade is super new. No, that's not the shade I loved. Naked, nope. Fifth Avenue, I used to use this shade all the time for work. This was like a perfect nude back in the day for me. Right there. Don't know how well you saw that, but I loved it. Natural Collection has my heart, but then I also have like the Ashley Grayon glosses. I haven't done a video, but if you want a video still, I don't mind. Uh, some of these Natural Collection gloss lipsticks were like my secondary school love. It was a nice brown, but it like was the first kind of luster formula I ever used. And last but not least, we've got some lip liners in the wrong place. So Natural Collection, um, Profusion, Little Mix, Essence. Oh, guys, who remembers Essence lip liners? What was the shade that everyone used to go on and on about? Satin Mauve. This was the shade that... <laughs> and he's sharpening but it was that shade there and that is all my lipsticks or lip collection